Hello guys, appreciate your time. Time doesn't wait on anyone, folks. Think of that. Time doesn't wait on anyone, regardless of how you think or how you feel or whether you believe that it should just slow down because you're in an emergency or you got all these things going on around you. But remember, we talked early on and early throughout the year on things that you wanted to do, such as save some money. Maybe you're trying to build a business. And of course, for shift workers, you're trying to eat better, work out, but things got in the way. Time kept on going. Now, it is September the 1st right now, and the year is almost over. We're approaching the fall, one of my greatest times of the year, Thanksgiving, all the holidays, whatever the case is. And of course, football season is here. And you are looking around and saying, where did the time go? Where did the time go, folks? But remember, uh, you continue to go to work. You continue to spend money. Many of you said you're going to eat better, but time got in the way again when it came to, well, not time. Time has been here. But many circumstances got in the way, such as tending to the kids, tending to the dog, the house, car, whatever the case may be. And you ended up wasting time. You didn't get anything done, such as uh, where you want to be health-wise, maybe working out, losing some weight, maybe gaining some weight, gaining muscle. Uh, again, saving some money, uh, building up your bank account, uh, getting some stuff off your credit, whatever it is. Many of those things just didn't get done. Maybe I'm not talking to you. Maybe, maybe this isn't you, but for the most of the people, um, this message is for you folks. But again, you look around and we know that time is money and you go down in your pockets and you say, where did the time go? Well, it's been 24 hours a day for the longest as I can remember, seven days a week and then 30 to 31 days in a month. But day after day come, week after week come, and then month after month come, and then hadn't accomplished anything, folks. How does that make you feel? Does that make you feel bad that you're toward the end of the year? But I'm here to say, uh, don't cry but spill milk. Say to yourself, from this point forward, I am going to make it work. Whatever you're trying to do, I'm going to do that. Of course, um, with this channel and with the people that we have, and play that can hold you accountable. But for a moment, folks, I just want you to think about this again. Time isn't and hasn't and never will wait on anyone. I want you to also think about uh, football, as I talked about earlier. Football is here on a high school level, collegiate level, and of course, professional level. And then I want you to think about all the work that they put in over the summer doing spring practice in terms of strength and conditioning, eating right, getting their mind right, you know, uh, just preparing beforehand, before the season starts. Now the roster is in place. Uh, people have their starting positions and others that are uh, waiting to get in the game. Everything is in play due to practice and preparation, folks. Even though they uh, had other things going on too, such as family things, uh, things maybe with friends, maybe mother, father, uh, siblings, and all other things. Have all those other things going on, but since they are a part of an organization, they are part of something big, they didn't let those things get in the way, did they? They didn't let them get in the way. Maybe they took a practice off here, here or there, but they stayed on the track, folks, with doing the right thing. But most of you who are going to work every day, you don't think about it like that because you go to work and you tend into their needs and their business, you tend into their schedule. But again, when you come home, time getting away. You said, well, I'm going to try to eat right today and I'm going to eat right tomorrow. But then time getting away, maybe you spend an extra hour at work, maybe you work an extra day and you end up at the fast food joint. And again, we know uh, sometimes you, you, you eat out here and there, but it's the things that you do on a consistent basis, day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, and month out. And you look and say, I hadn't accomplished anything. And you look in your pockets and you, and you look at all the money that you spent, some money that you could have saved, some money that you could have invested. And then you think about the food is gone and you're hungry again. The time went by and you hadn't accomplished anything. 
But again, think about those, um, the, the, those football teams. Time went by, but they prepared. They put some money in the bank in terms of preparation, in terms of practicing, in terms of strength and conditioning, folks. Being held accountable, being held liable, things like that. So could that be you? Could that be you, folks? Your favorite team coming on Sunday, whether it's the Saints or the Falcons or the Bucks, whatever high school you like, college, whether it's Alabama, Auburn, Clemson, Georgia, you name it. All those folks put the work in. Now they are about to reap the benefits. Everybody won't win every game, but you'll still see the benefits that come from it. And that because time did not go by when they wasn't doing anything productive. Time didn't get away when they wasn't planning, strengthening, and conditioning. So can that be you folks to make a change, to, to, to make a 360 change, not crying over spilled milk, but getting it done, folks? Won't you think of that for a moment? Now, you're probably saying to yourself, I want that to happen, but I just don't know how. Well, the answer is very, very simple, folks. Just say to yourself, I'm going to commit to something and let the rest be history. Over here on the channel, we have uh, people that will hold you accountable. People uh, um, that you can um, confess to and, and, and tell them some of your needs and some of your wants or whatever the case is, whatever you're trying to do. The rest will be history, folks. But you have to start from somewhere. You have to break out of that shell. You have to say to yourself that. I'm going to stop being silent. I'm going to stop saying what I should do and just make it happen and just get in there and grind just like they do with your business. Because I, I can promise you time just didn't go by them. They had a schedule and they stuck to it. I can promise you if they're profitable, time just didn't go by. But they made some things happen. We know when prices went up, when gas prices went up, products went up, they had a plan. and They just didn't let time go by. They just didn't close their eyes and hope for the best and let time go by and just wish. No, they had a plan and so should you. You are a business. You are a business when it comes to your family. You know, you are a business when it comes to your community, whatever the case is, folks. So that's what it is, folks. Say to yourself, no more. Again, we're toward the end of the year and time went by quick. It just didn't wait around and, and wait on you to get your life in order, but it kept moving and it kept ticking away. The five minutes uh, before, we'll never get it back. But we can make some preparations and say, no more. So think on that, folks. Think again, folks, when you when you get off work and you spend an hour over or you spend an extra day and then you're going out to that place and you're spending all your money and you're spending too much money on food. You're spending too much money on gas when you're buying things you don't need. And again, um, I urge and recommend that a lot of people cook in to, to, to keep them more healthier during this pandemic because you can cook your own food, all that changing and exchanging money, all those germs and things like that. Of course, hopefully you're washing your hands, but you get the point, folks. You can cook your own food, see what's in it, save on time as well. Not so much of saving money, but save on time because uh, you gotta have to wait in those long lines. You know, sometimes the order is not good during this pandemic. Why? Because a lot of businesses are hiring. A lot of businesses are shorthanded um, for many, many reasons. So you can cook it at the house, save time versus getting in those long lines, waiting on the food, things like that. So that's what it is, folks. Hopefully you hit that subscribe button. Hopefully you hit that like button. And of course, hopefully you'll share the video Give me some comments down below so that we can help you so you can win big, folks. The time is now. Say to yourself, no more lost time. No more time wasted. No more time unaccounted for. Just like you check your, your, your money in your wallet or you check your money in your bank account, you know, because you want to account for where your money went. Well, you also need to account for your time, folks. You need to have your time. Uh, uh, in line and, and account to where it's going versus turning your eyes and then being world blind of it. So hopefully that helped, folks. I'm going to sign out right here. Look forward for more.
content along the way that will help them.